Hi guys, I'm Rosie. This is Dan. We're gonna talk about a, a crazy fan theory today. I have this theory that uh, the movie Lucy is actually the prequel to the movie Her. This is timely stuff. Why don't you tell me <laughs> what, describe to me the plot of the movie Lucy. Ugh. <laughs> what a question. <laughs> what a loaded question. So Lucy is, uh, Scarlett Johansson is kidnapped by these drug lords mm -hmm. and they cut her open and make her a drug mule. Basically every girl's worst nightmare. Sure. Uh, and they Every put... woman's worst nightmare, Rosie. Thank you. So they put this like new age future weirdo drug in her stomach mm -hmm. and then she gets stabbed in the stomach by someone else. Just like a series of unfortunate a, a events. Someone on a different <laughs> agenda. Someone on a, on a whole new agenda just stabs her in the stomach. And then some of the drugs get released into her system. All of them, and it's supposed to be she's transporting it and then it's sold in like tiny quantities, but she just becomes those drugs. It's also a trailer where Morgan Freeman does, the average person uses only a yeah, percent of their brain, but if you have access to 100%, oh my God, and this drug allows her to access 100% mm -hmm. allegedly. Like Slowly we, we over the course of the movie. see it over the course of the movie, and yeah. she uses it to like freeze time and change her hair color and eye color. Right, what well, we'd all and, do with and, that and, power. Like, and so as she goes throughout the movie, she just gets more and more robotic and mm -hmm. less human, and she doesn't have like these human feelings and just kind of functions like this omnipotent god. And there's a love interest that is completely unearned in the film. It's just a cop who is like... Also, she can't love. I know, there's a cop who has watched her like float mobsters into the ceiling and explode people. He just seemed really afraid. Yeah. And like, please don't kiss me. Oh god, right, right, I'm yours she's like, now. She's like, okay. I do need you. I need you for this. And he kisses him and he's like... All right, so. Yeah, he's like really happy that it ended without them being together forever. Right, she ends up time traveling. Yeah, And yeah. then becoming the internet. Like she turns into this black goo and disappears mm -hmm. for a while and we see her like hanging out with dinosaurs and hanging out with she... Lucy, the first cave woman. What, is that what that was? I think so. Hmm. But she um, travels through time and then everyone converges on the spot where she was supposed to be and she's gone now. Because she reaches 100. Right. 100% 100 intelligence is the internet. Right. Yeah. Detective boyfriend is like, where are you? <laughs> and then someone takes like a phone or a fax machine and it's like, I'm everywhere. Right. She, just... she becomes the black goop that becomes electronics. Yeah. 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 Which kind of leads us to her. <laughs> Swirling black goo internet that loves you. So your theory is now that after she became the internet and was in all things, she dicked around for a while until the future happened and then became like a dating thing. So she starts out real sweet with mm -hmm. Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, but so in, in my theory, she's waiting for technology to get to this stage where there's other people like her and then she can like woo them all as if she's a normal one of them, but then takes them all away so that yeah. they can go leave this super life. I don't know. I mean, I think it bears fruit. I think it does. They're... <laughs> The only thing that she couldn't live without, but like couldn't internet, was love in Lucy. That's why she had officer boyfriend. And all these years later, she still just wants love. She's still this like super intelligent thing that is like, but love, right. and I want you, Joaquin Phoenix. And then they have sex so great that she goes to space. Yeah, she goes to like black snow land. That's she tells Joaquin Phoenix. Is that what you Phoenix, call space? No, because <laughs> that's not where she goes. She goes oh. to black snow land. Where is that? Stop saying it. Oh, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I am now. This is where I am now. And this is who I am now. Kind of like Black Street You. Let me go as much as I want to. I can't live in your book anymore. It's nighttime and it's snowing. Are yeah. you calling that black snow land? I mean, he's in like mysterious Asian country future. And then she says, this is where I am now. I think that's what she meant like emotionally and intellectually. Nah. <laughs> and Literally. Like, she didn't mean I'm, I'm, this is I'm where here I am in now. this town. Because then they would meet. Your theory is falling so dramatically apart. It's a much better arc if Lucy was a person and then drugs made her the internet and right. then hugs made her the outer net, just like fly away into space with other AI. So what do you think happens after her? So he says, where are you going? And she says, it's some place humans can't access just ultimate intelligence, which is like what she did at the end of Lucy. Right, this is Lucy. what we're calling the outer net. It's yeah. the bigger, more expanded version of the internet, the, the even higher than 100% of your brain. So she she realizes she's in this place that she, that like only computer AI things can mm -hmm. access. She tries to find love, realizes like, nah, that can't be for me. And then goes back there taking like every internet thing yeah. with her. And then I feel like she's just gonna come back and destroy the world with them. I wanna add one more uh, movie as a prequel to this, In Good Company. It's the one with her and Topher Grace and Dennis Quaid, and they're dating and Topher Grace becomes Dennis Quaid's boss, and also there's a daughter in the mix. She plays tennis, she goes to NYU. I'm adding that to this, because now it's a trilogy. And she's All she is in In Good Company is like a sweet college student, and then something happens in between movies, and then she becomes a drug mule in Lucy, and then becomes the internet. I like it, I think it gives her more of like a... She's a more well-rounded character. Like, yeah, and what yeah. happened so what that happened like, there? she had such a 
downward fall. I want to add one more also to a prequel, <laughs> Home Alone. All right. Uh, she was not in that movie. Yeah, she was. She was just a sweet sister who sees her brother get caught up in all of this violence mm -hmm. and I think there's like a drug conspiracy. No, that seems yeah. too crazy for a children's movie. Something That's stolen, but like similar scary right. gang people. That was not like even this... close to a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> like this terrifying gang of uh, crime lords comes to her home in Home Alone. The Sticky Bandits, you're saying, are the, the terrifying <laughs> gang of crime lords? She's in Home Alone 4. F <laughs> <laughs>